Good morning, greetings friends, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I am your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I specialize in using nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your vitality and health and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body, you are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health issue. That's why we're here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 29 years of practicing pharmacy, I've seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes, hypertension, obesity, psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle, but what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure, because the human biological system is a healing system, a regenerating system. It is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment basis, and while some folks may call that a miracle, it really is just the way the body works, and that means nobody has to suffer from a progressive, long-term, chronic, non-healing, degenerative disease. No one, no one, no one. If you've got, if you have that in your life, as a, in terms of yourself, in terms of a loved one, a patient, friend, family member, workmate, whatever, and you want to help them out, please give us a call, 844-236-6010. Let us help you help them. Let us help you help yourself change your life today. 844-236-6010 is our number. If you have a success story you'd like to share, you want to contribute to the conversation, likewise, 844-236-6010 is our number. And, of course, if you want to purchase any of the longevity products or join my team, join the Bright Side Ben team, and help spread the word about the power and importance of a good nutritional supplement program, earn yourself a little residual income or even a lot of residual income or even a lot of income and a lot of people are making a lot of money helping spread the word about the longevity products and and just general lifestyle lifestyle strategies nutritional supplemental strategies as well as business strategies too Anyway, uh, 844-236-6010 is our number, or head over to brightsideben.com, criticalhealthnews.com, or pharmacistben.com. And don't forget to check out truthtreatments.com, our 5% retinol gel. You're not going to see that anywhere, folks. 5% retinol gel, no preservative, no fragrance, no filler, no silicon, no wax, no oil, no nothing that your skin doesn't need or doesn't want. Truth Serum, Truth Balm. Truth Omega-6 Healing Cream and Truth Retinol Gel. Check them out at truthtreatments.com. Okay, so we've been talking about vitamin E, your cell's best friend. Kind of a weird one when it comes to vitamins. Vitamin E doesn't really participate in too many. Well, lately, recently they found that it participates in some chemistry. But basically, it's a protector. It's a cell's bodyguard. Cell's best friend. It guards the body. It guards our body. It guards the body of the cell. It's a literal bodyguard. And it guards the components of a cell. You know, inside a cell, this is, this is some of the most amazing thing, uh, maybe the most amazing phenomenon in cell chemistry is the idea that there are hundreds of thousands of little structures inside the cell. It's crazy what's going on inside the cell. We talk about the outside part, the membrane, but man, inside, there's all kinds of little structures. I don't know if it's the hundreds of thousands. There's hundreds of thousands of components probably, but certainly there's thousands of little structures little structures inside the cell, and those little structures need protection as well. One of the most important of these little structures has been in the news a lot. It's called mitochondria. You've heard of it. There's a lot of supplements now that protect the mitochondria. You can't protect the mitochondria necessarily with a supplement, but you can with vitamin E. I mean, I shouldn't say with a formula, but you can with vitamin E. That's one of, the, that's one of vitamin E's main roles, is to protect the organelles. That's what they're called, the organelles, little organs. Can you imagine this? A cell has little organs inside of it. You know a cell has a skeleton inside of it too? Not only does it have a skeleton, but when a cell divides, all kind of craziness has to occur to that skeleton. So the same skeletal structure will be in the divided in, in the cell that has come off of the first cell. Man, cell chemistry is absolutely mind-blowing. Anyway, vitamin E protects the fatty part of cells, the outside part of cells. Vitamin E is part of a complex of nutrients that that is found in plants. You're not going to find vitamin E in animals, except for the animals that eat the plants, of course. But vitamin E is made by plants. I shouldn't say you're not going to find them in animals. Animals can't make vitamin E. They're in animals. But plants make vitamin E. 
And plants make them, make vitamin E, to protect their fats, particularly the seed portion. The seed portion is nature's bounty. That is, that is the most in, important and fundamental element in all of the plant world is the seed. The seed portion is uh, largely fatty. Remember, fats are about long-term, long-term processes, growth and stress management. And the, the seed is about, that's what it is. It's about growth and it has to withstand stress. I'm not necessarily talking about the seed when it's dormant or when it's asleep. I'm talking about the seed when it becomes livingness. That's what, that's what the magic of a seed, something allows it to go from this dormant state, the sleeping state, to the living state. And this is why seeds can be problematic. This is why a lot, of, a lot of people have problems with things like gluten and lectins and other elements that are found in seeds. They can interfere with biological processes because seeds are sleeping. So seeds have all of their, all of their livingness and suspended animation, and this livingness is kept in check by things like enzyme inhibitors and anti-nutrients. Anti-nutrients, enzyme inhibitors keep the seed asleep. But the problem is when we eat them, they act as anti-nutrients for us too. Not to mention that they can, uh, there's a, their defensive purpose can, uh, can, cause, can offend us. The defensive function of these, of these kinds of elements can have an offensive uh, effect on us. And offense means immunity, and immunity means inflammation. Seeds are a major cause of the infl a major cause of inflammation, and seeds are also a major source of anti-inflammatory substances. It's hard to appreciate the stupendous importance of seeds. We live on the planet of seeds, and we interact with seeds all day long. We eat seeds, grains, nuts. We drink seeds. Coffee is a seed. Cocoa is a seed. We wear seeds, cotton seed, hemp seed. We write with seeds, soy. You know, soy is ink. So they make ink out of soy. We write with seeds, cellulose, paper. We use seeds to make us beautiful. Cosmetic ingredients come from seeds, cosmetic oils. We use seeds via wood to build our homes and furniture, at least byproducts of seeds, cellulose is. Seeds are the staff of life. They're the stuff of life and the staff of life. And as we know, uh, life as we know it, would not exist without seeds. And obviously they're, they're critical for the proliferation of vegetation. 90% of plant life depends on seeds for reproduction, but animal life is also dependent on the contribu contribution of seeds. In addition to fruits and vegetables, which are magically transformed from seeds, the seed is nature's richest source of, or one of nature's richest sources of fatty nutrients. Omega fats, fatty, uh, fatty acids, vitamin E, and a whole slew, a slew of protective antioxidant nutrients or uh, phytonutrients, plant nutrients. Seeds contain the template of plant life and via our dependence, animals' dependence on seeds, they provide the raw materials for animal life too, for the template of animal life. Seeds are dormant. They're not living, they're not dead. They're pure potential energy. They're like an explosion waiting to happen. They contain all of the elements of life. When they're, when they're sprouted or when they're awoke, awakened, they contain the three elements of life. They only contain two of the elements of life, really, in a seed. But once you add water and you add sun, the seed wakes up. The, element, the, three, the three major elements of life, according to this Albert St. Georgie, who is considered the greatest biochemist who ever lived, discoverer of the vitamin C molecule. Albert St. George was a Hungarian biochemist and later an American biochemist. He won the Nobel Prize for his discoveries of something called biological combustion, which is basically the creation of energy from life, how life generates energy. He, he won the Nobel Prize. I mean, you can imagine how, uh, the kind of mind that would think along these lines. He won the Nobel Prize for, for discovering the processes that allow energy to come from life. He said all of livingness is dependent on information, raw material, and energy, which are somehow all three combined. In the seed, you got the information, and uh, you got the raw material. The sun and the water provide the energy. Well, uh, let me, I'll finish up when we come back from our break, because this has a lot of relevance when it comes to, comes to nutrition and when it comes to our health. You are listening to GCN. 
Visit GCNlive.com today. Okay, we're back on the Bright Side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Check out our webpage at brightsideben.com or pharmacistben.com or criticalhealthnews.com if you want to purchase any of the longevity products you hear advertised in the program or recommended. You can also check out uh, benfuchsarchives.com as well as brightsideben.com for archive programs. We have uh, five years of archives, all great health information. And if you want to purchase any of our truth treatment products, go to truthtreatments.com, which is also a blog uh, where I put uh, some some of my skincare musings. I've been in the skincare business for a long time, and man, there are so much to tell you guys about the world of skincare and skincare products. You know, we're so bamboozled by marketing and celebrities and advertisement and pictures and and, and manipulative PR and promotional and, and advertising techniques that we never do the basics when it comes to making a decision on a skincare product, and skincare companies know that good and well. What are the basics? Looking at the ingredients. Reading the ingredient deck. How? Now, I know I've been in doing this for a long time, and I'm more of a scientist than the average person, but how can we put stuff on our face, rub stuff on our skin, and not know what we're rubbing on our skin? A guy sent me an email yesterday giving, putting the ingredient deck for one of those products that he was using. I was going to talk about that uh, today or tomorrow. It's got 80 different ingredients in it. 80! How can you possibly do this to yourself? Rub something on your skin. 80 different chemicals and not know what we're rubbing on our skin. Not only that, not knowing what these individual components are, but how they're working together. And we rub them on the skin. That's why our truth treatment products have four or five, sometimes three or four ingredients in them. I think my Omega-6 healing cream has about eight ingredients. That's it. You don't want a lot of ingredients on your skin, folks. And you want to know what those ingredients are. There are ingredients in a skincare product that I used to, <clears throat> when I was making them, you know, when I was making skincare and using those ingredients, when I was working for, uh, for Blistex, I would wear a mask. Or in the pharmacy, if I had to make something, I'd wear a mask before I had to, before I stuck the spoon in the, in the paraben to put it into the product, or the scoop into the diazolidinyl urea, you know, to put it in the product, I would wear a mask because I want to breathe the stuff, the same stuff that we rub on our skin, likewise sunscreens. And, and many others. Got to be ingredient readers. Got to understand the components of things, the building blocks of things. That's what seeds are. They're the building blocks. By understanding seeds and what makes up a seed, we can take advantage of the power, the nutritional power, the, the life-giving power of seeds. Seed, seeds, well, life, according to Albert St. George, is dependent on three elements. Albert St. George said it. you have to have three elements for life. You have to have information, you got to have raw material, and you got to have energy, and all three have to be combined. Seeds contain information and raw material. This is the story of the seed. Information, raw material, and then boom, sun and water spring into life. These three elements, raw material, energy, and information. It's a primal trilogy in all of life. Ancient people called it the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. That's the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. Today, we still call it the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost, but we don't refer to it the same. We don't have the same meaning. The father's the original pattern, the genetic material that produces the raw material. That's the father. That's the, the, the information, the pattern. The son is what comes out of it. It's the spirit made flesh. And then the Holy Ghost would be the energy that's coming from, uh, the, uh, that comes from the sun and comes from water and that is released in this biological combustion process. It's the primal trilogy in all of life. Information, raw material, and energy. And that's not me saying This is Albert St. Georgie saying it. So, by far for us, the most important part of the seeds from a biological standpoint or health standpoint, that's going to be the nutrients, especially the fatty nutrients. Seeds are one of nature's richest sources of lipophilic, lipophilic meaning fat-loving, lipo for fat, philic for loving, fat-soluble substances. And it's, uh, there's lots of them. In addition to vitamin E, you got a whole slew, a complex of fat-soluble substances that guard the fats. They're guardian fat substances. Vitamin E is one of them. Octocosinol, ferulic acid, cathayic acid, flavonoids, carotenes, lutein, zeoxanthine. These are protective elements. They protect fats and they protect us. That's why if you go to your Vision FX, you'll see lutein and zeoxanthine. These are carotenes. These are fat protectors. And they're found in plant material and seeds. They're found throughout the plant material, but they're concentrated in seeds. 
The fats themselves, those are the 